Hey everyone, welcome to part 69 of my Pokemon game series in Unity. So in this video, we'll expand upon our quest system. So we'll create the type of quest that can be marked as completed when we speak to an NPC. So if I go speak to this NPC, he'll give me my first Pokemon. And what we'll also do is, when this happens, we'll also mark a quest as completed. And in the future, what we'll do is, once this quest is completed, we'll disable the story item that we put over here, and we'll let the player go to the next town. Alright, so let's look at how to implement this. Special thanks to all my Patreons for making this series possible. By becoming a Patreon, you can support me and get access to the complete project files of the series. The project files also contain some advanced features that are not covered on YouTube. So let's start the video. So first, I'm going to make a small improvement to the quest system. So let's see what happens if we already have the required item before starting a quest. Okay, so if I go take the required item and then if I try to start the quest, Alright, so you can see that the NPC is saying the start dialog and it's just starting the quest like usual, right? And now to complete the quest, we have to speak to the NPC once again, okay? So even though we had the required item for the quest, we had to speak to the NPC two times to complete the quest, right? So let's go ahead and fix that. So in the NPC controller, when we start a quest, we should also check if the quest can be completed right now. And if it can be completed, then we have to complete it while starting the quest itself. Okay. So all we have to do is take this piece of code for completing the quest and add it over here so that we'll try to complete the quest right after starting it. Okay, so let's go to Unity and test this. So I'll go pick up the item first. All right, and then I'll go speak to the NPC. Okay, so yeah, now we completed the quest right after it was started. So the NPC is saying the completed dialog right after the start dialog and the quest is complete now, right? So that's a small improvement that I want to do. So next, I want to create a small quest that will be completed when the player receives his first Pokemon from an NPC, okay? So before we implement the quest for it, First, we need the NPC to be able to give a Pokemon to the player, right? So right now, NPCs can give an item to the player. So we have the item giver script for that. So similarly, we also need to create a script for giving a Pokemon. All right, so I'll create a script for that. So inside the scripts folder, inside Pokemons, I'll create a new script called Pokemon Giver. All right. So this script is going to be pretty similar to the item giver script. All right. So it's going to be pretty similar. The only difference is instead of giving an item, we should give a Pokemon. So I'm just going to copy the script and modify it to create the Pokemon Giver script. All right. So here, let me get rid of the default class and let me copy the item giver class. So first, I'll change the name of the class to Pokemon Giver. And then over here, instead of an item base, we need a Pokemon class. 
right so i'll change that and then i'll change the name of this variable to pokemon to give okay so next i'll get rid of this count variable we'll only have to give one pokemon at most so we don't need the count variable all right so next i'll change the name of this function to give pokemon and then in this function instead of adding to the inventory if you have to add the pokemon to the player's party right so here i'll just remove this function and instead of getting the inventory i'll get the pokemon party of the player all right and then i'll call add pokemon function to add the pokemon to the player's party okay so next after adding we are setting used to true and then we need to show a dialog right but in this case since we don't have count we don't need this if condition the dialog will always be the same but we have an error over here so that's because in the case of pokemon the name is inside pokemon base right so i'll just add that over here and finally in the can be given function we don't need to check for count since we don't have it anymore so let me remove that all right so that's it we have a script for giving a pokemon now so next let's use the script from the npc controller so in the npc controller first we need to grab a reference to the pokemon giver script so let me do that all right i'll just get the reference from the awake function so next when interacting with the npc we should also check if a pokemon needs to be given so here i'll add an else if condition and let me actually just copy the if condition for the item giver and paste it over here and then i can just change the item giver to pokemon giver okay and i also need to change the name of the function to give pokemon so that's all we need to do so let's go to unity and test this so we need to create an npc for giving a pokemon so i'll just create this npc in house one so let me just get the npc prefab it's inside the characters folder in game so let me just drop this prefab to the scene and i'll place him over here let me just make sure he's placed at the center of the tile all right and next i'll add the pokemon giver script to this npc all right so let's say we want to give a charmander of level 5 all right and we also need to write the dialogue that the npc will say before giving the pokemon so let me just fill in some dialogue all right and finally for the normal dialogue of the npc i'll write some dialogue with some context that the dialogue is being said after giving a pokemon so i'll say something like now you can battle the wild pokemons in the grass all right so let's go ahead and test this so if i go speak to the npc he should give me the pokemon okay 
so we received the Pokemon, but we have some error in the console. So let me check that out. Okay, so this is the line that is causing the error. So what's happening is to set the HP in the HP bar, we need the current HP and the max HP, right? But in the Pokemon Giver script, we are not initializing the Pokemon to give. Okay, we are simply adding it to the Pokemon party. So if we do it without initializing, then it won't have values like HP and max HP. So let's just initialize the Pokemon to give before adding it to the party. All right. So now let's go to Unity and test this. Okay, let me go speak to the NPC. So he'll give me the Pokemon. And this time we don't have any errors in the console. All right. So if we go speak to him again, he'll just say, now you can battle wild Pokemon in the grass. And he won't give us the Pokemon again. And by the way, if we check our Pokemon party, now we also have a Charmander of level 5 that was given to us by the NPC. We can actually remove all the Pokemons that we have in our party by default. So this will be our first Pokemon. Okay, I'll be doing that in the future. But the next thing I want to do is, when this NPC gives us this Pokemon, I want to mark a quest as completed. So why do I want to do that? The reason is because once this quest is completed, I want to disable a story item that is blocking the player from leaving out of the town. Okay. So to do all that, first we need to mark a quest as completed once the NPC gives us the first Pokemon. So let's go ahead and create a quest for that. So in game, under resources, inside quest, I'll create a quest called meet professor. All right. So let me fill in the name of this quest over here. Okay, so this quest doesn't need to have a start dialogue or a completed dialogue. The only way we are going to use this quest is by marking it as completed once the professor gives us the Pokemon. And you can actually give a completed dialogue if you want, but I'm not going to do that since we already have a dialogue in the Pokemon Giver script. So now we just need to mark this quest as completed when we interact with this NPC. Okay. So inside the NPC controller, right now we only have a variable for quest to start. So let's also create a variable for quest to complete. All right. So over here, I'll just duplicate this variable and name it quest to complete. So next, if we have a quest to complete, then I'll complete it before running any other actions. Okay. So unlike quest to start, we don't want to put quest to complete inside an else if condition because we want to mark the quest as completed no matter what the action is. Right. So before I do any other action, I'll check if quest to complete is not equal to null. All right. So if it's not null, then we should complete that quest. So to complete the quest, first we need to create an instance of quest using quest to complete. All right. And I'll store this in a variable called quest. Okay. And now we can simply call quest dot complete quest in order to complete it. So to the complete quest, we have to pass the transform of the player. So let me just pass the initiator of the dialogue. All right. And after completing the quest, 
I'll just set quest to complete to null so that we won't try to complete it again. Okay, so that's all we need to do. But just to make it easier to test, I'll actually add a debug.log statement over here so that we'll know when the quest is completed. So here I'll say quest completed. All right. So next, let's go to Unity. And now in the NPC controller, you should also be able to see the quest to complete variable. Okay. So the NPC controller script is actually getting a bit cluttered. So let's actually organize them by adding headers. So in my NPC controller script, here I'll segregate these variables into different category by using the header attribute. So I just have to say header and give a name for the header. So here I'll say quest. So this header will be for these two variables. And for these two variables, I'll create another header called moment. Okay. It's just a small thing to keep the inspector organized. So let's go back to Unity and see how the script looks right now. Okay. So that's much better. So next. When we speak to this NPC, we need to mark the meet professor quest is completed, right? So in quest to complete, I'll select meet professor quest. And let's test if that quest is completed when we talk to the NPC. Okay. So I'll go ahead and talk to the NPC. All right, we have a null reference error. So let me check what's causing the issue. Okay, so this is the line that is causing the issue. All right, I did something stupid over here. I'm actually setting quest to complete to null from here. And after that, I'm trying to access it. So that's why we are getting the null reference error. So instead of using quest to complete, let me just use quest dot base. And that should solve the issue for us. So let's go to Unity and test again. Okay, so if we speak to the NPC now, you can see that it did mark meet professor quest is completed. So that's working fine. And after this dialog, the NPC will also give us our first Pokemon. All right, so that's working fine. So next, what we need to do is once we complete that quest we should disable the story item over here and we should let the player go to the next town right so we'll be doing that in the next video we we'll look at how we can enable and disable objects based on the status of the quest so i'll stop the video here if you think these videos are helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. That will really help me out. So, I'll see you in the next video.